LBA Serie A basketball, and we got a missed three, grabs the rebound, passes it out, stolen, slam dunk, you're on the ground. Oh, bet you regret getting that rebound. Oh, my goodness. Went down hard. Ooh, that's something you missed that you never planned on watching, and this is everything you missed that you've never planned on watching. Thank you for tuning in. If you enjoy these, you find yourself watching them a bunch, you can subscribe to the channel. That helps a ton. Let's get into it. We're going to start off in the RSL where we have Al Hala and Al Faya playing against each other. No way I said those correctly. Correct me in the comments. And a little set piece here for Al Hala, who has not lost yet. Header into the middle, into traffic. It comes down. It's in. Watch what happens next. You've never seen it. He goes into his sock. He's getting something out of his sock. Get away from me, guys. Get away from me. Get away from me. I need to do something. The fans are cheering. Let's take another look at the goal. Header in, and then it bounces off both of their heads, and he kicks it on his way down. It's kind of crazy. It bounces like three times off both of their heads. It goes head, 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 head. I think twice each maybe, and then he's able to extend his leg as he's falling, and he had a balloon in his, he was playing with a balloon in his sock. He knew he was going to score, and he was going to blow a beautiful balloon in your face. You just got ballooned. You guys didn't see that. You missed it. To the NLL we go where Vancouver is up one over Colorado, trying to hold it down, but tie game, right to the point Right in, National Lacrosse League, McLaughlin, is that his name? Yeah, well, he just scored. And he's celebrating with the crowd, and this guy's face is dangling, and it's going to go into overtime where we have a controversial moment where Colorado, no, Vancouver, has the ball, little dump pass to 45 who runs in and scores the game winner in overtime. Backup goalie's going crazy. That goalie's sad that he let in the goal. That guy... He thinks a lot of things all the time. He's a constant thinker. This fan, you guys missed this. He was dancing, dancing, dancing. As the goal happens, flashes his belly. Not funny because they score. Number 12, he got set up here, a little drop pass, and 12 didn't switch to his man. I mean, it's tough play. It's tough play, but you can see him. Oh, he lets 45 in. He scores. They say, wait, hold up. After review, the shooter contacts the crease, the ball, the goal line. Oh, my goodness. No goal because he contacts the crease before the ball goes in. Kind of an interesting rule. I would have thought it was, you know, when you release the ball out of your stick, that's when you can't go in the crease. Or when the ball crosses the goal line, that's when. But it's when the ball touches ground back there. So his knee or his elbow or something, his elbow it looks like, or his foot even, touched the ground before that ball went into the net. So it does not count, and the game continues. And now Vancouver with the ball again. Another shot back and forth, back and forth. Takes a shot. Save made by the goalie. That was similar to the one that went in to tie the game. Colorado's got it. They're running downfield. They're going to set up a play. Gets to the middle and finds his guy in the wing, and he's just going to, like, dance around, dance around, hang out. You want to take it? You want to go deep with it? No, let's go back up to the point. Storming in, lefty shot, wins. And look at number 12's reaction. Yeah, oh, thank God, because I didn't want it to be my fault. Which catch do you guys think is better? We had two great catches from the women's Australian cricket team against India in their ODI series, and the women's Australia cricket team is just really good. Yeah, got that catch from Phoebe Litchfield diving to make the play in the infield. Let's take a replay. Screamer right at her, gets by her, but not past her. Grabs it with one hand. I mean... That is a great catch. Full extension right here. Ooh, look at that. Bam. Okay. That one. Oh, look at her face. She knows it's good. She's like, ooh. Or this one by her teammate, McGrath Reddy. This one, she's got to go back on it. Little floater, one-handed jump save. Oh, Doyle's done that in the warehouse before. Oh, and they're upset over there, but they're happy in Australia. Which one? Do you like better? The screamer or kind of like going back, going back and getting it just out of reach? Two great catches by Team Australia. 
And the final story, you probably didn't miss this if you pay attention to the sports world because Luke Littler, 16 years old, found himself in the darts final. He won juniors last year, and everybody is loving him because he's just knocking off greats. Meanwhile, Luke Humphreys, Battle of the Lukes, which you love, he's trying to win again, establish himself as like one of the best ever in darts, especially just like a giant right now. Our office was watching this live, cheering. It got it went very viral because this kid's electric. The turning point of the match came in the seventh set. If you don't know how darts works, you got uh, your games, your sets, and your match, but change the word game to leg. So like tennis, but change leg, uh, change game to leg. Uh, for the, to win the match, you have to win seven sets, and to win a set, you have to win three legs, and to win one leg, you have to be the first to clear five hundred and one points by throwing the dart and you get all the points and shit like that. So this was the most important one because if Littler can go up five to two, that would be huge. But Humphreys had a great round and he's got 48 left. Littler's got 122. Watch what he does here. He goes, okay, triple 18, triple 18. That's 108, I believe. Now he's got to hit the 14 and he does and he clears it a little dance and he wins. I don't think my math was right thinking back on it, but whatever, you get it. And now Humphreys is up against it. He has to win this leg. He can't let Littler win this and go down 5-2. to two. And this is where Littler kind of loses it because he didn't get anything there. He scored like 58 points. 208 for Humphreys. He goes triple 20, triple 20, and triple 20. 180, the most you can get in one round. So Littler's got to do the crazy dance again. Triple 18 gets it. Triple 18 gets it. That's 54 plus 54 is 108. So he's looking around. He's like, how many do I need? He goes, four? I need four? Huh? Um, Four? I need four? Yes, he needs four to win. And that would be a big, big moment. Unfortunately, there's no f- slice that is four, so he doesn't have a big target. Yeah, he has to go double two, which is that red outer ring they're showing. And he would win and go up five to two, and he missed it. Look how close. He just right on the silver. Oh, that leaves the opening for Humphreys to win this leg, which would win the set. And now it's four to three, and Humphreys never looked back. And that one toss that missed by that tiny little bit changed the entire game because Luke Humphreys went on a run. He won the next three legs. He's up six to four here, and he wins it. Collapses to the ground. His family's crying. Luke Littler's clapping. There's sparks flying. The darting world was turned upside down. People think it's going to be the most uh, watched final ever, the crying in the crowd. I wonder if that's wife, sister, someone, stranger. I don't know. She's very emotional. And give it up for both Lukes. Give it up for both Lukes. And again, you may have been watching that one because that kind of went viral, took everyone by storm. But if you weren't watching it, you didn't plan on watching it, you missed it. Now you know about it. Thank you guys for watching. These are our fans of the week. I forgot to go edit in the dude who flashed the camera through the glass. I was going to change it, edit him in. I forgot. These are the fans of the week. Subscribe if you enjoy these, and we'll be back next week for everything that you are not planning to watch.